A Long Island great-grandmother is one of the oldest living Americans with type 1 diabetes. She was told as a child that she would not live more than a few years. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, doctors say that her longevity is living proof of great hope for a full life. I was told I'd probably have about a three to five year lifespan. Libby Lashansky has had a lot of time to prove her 1940s doctors wrong. At age 11, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. The now 92 year old Great Neck woman is among a handful of the oldest patients with the lifelong diagnosis. Well, in those days, they thought they knew what they were doing. She really is a miracle. Because when she had diabetes, no one ever would have expected her to live this long. Until the discovery of insulin a century ago, juvenile diabetes, as it was then called, was considered a death sentence. Lashansky was told to keep it secret. Her life would be short and limited. Being told that I should, I can't, shouldn't have children, it would kill me. My granddaughter. My grandson. Two children, seven grandchildren, and three great grandchildren later, she looks back on a full life. She became a physician, too. Times have changed. She credits major advances in glucose monitoring and insulin pumps. Injections five times a day have smaller needles. Primitive monitoring is long gone. I'd have to use a match, light the wick, and then hold the test tube over the uh, flame. Now, this gives you a, re a sugar reading every, five, I think it's five minutes. Her family credits her discipline. Have a balance between the carbohydrates, the protein, and the uh, fats. Doctors say she is an inspiration. I'm the one that I'm telling them that I think you have type 1 diabetes to be able to give them that hope. Um, it's really a wonderful thing. There is still no cure for type 1 diabetes. lashansky has been waiting a long time for one, but in the meantime says she's missed out on nothing. I practice as a doctor. I lived a perfectly normal life. Diabetes, if one is careful and watches oneself, is not a death sentence. Her ripe old age, once unimaginable. In Great Neck, Long Island, Carolyn Gus off CBS 2 News. Such an inspiration for so many families.